Buying a company's stock is one of the oldest and simplest investments in the business world. In short, you're making an investment in a company. If that company performs well and grows, the demand for their stock will go up, so too will the stock price, and you can make money by selling the stock or collecting benefits like dividends. Anyone can buy stock, which makes it accessible for even the most unskilled of investors. In order to understand what stocks are and how you can make money with them, let's break it all down. Stocks are effectively shares of ownership of a company. If you own enough stock, say 5-10% to of total shares, you'd have significant influence on how that company is run. However, most people just own 1-10 to 10 shares of a company, or more or less, and you still have an influence, but your votes on important decisions will be less of the total votes, so it doesn't matter as much. Most stocks sold on the open market for individual companies give you the right to vote in shareholder meetings. This means that you can vote on who is on a company's board, whether they acquire a certain company, and so on. All of that's cool and all, but it's not really why stocks are usually bought and sold. Simply to make money. Investors buy and own stock in order to make a return on their investment. You can buy a stock whenever and sell a stock whenever, as long as there is a buyer and a seller willing to take you up on the other side of the deal. Most of the time, you aren't buying from the company directly either, rather you're buying from another stockholder who wants to sell their position. Companies initially sell their stock in something called an initial public offering or through other public offerings after the fact. These let the company raise money without having to take out a loan. But all of that said, there are two primary ways. For one, the stock appreciates, or in other words, people are willing to buy that stock for more money than you bought it for. If the company makes great decisions and turns a profit, more and more people would want to own their stock to make money with them. This increase in demand drives the price up. Assuming the total number of stocks on the market stays the same, this is simple supply and demand. If you're selling a painting and you only have one person bidding, it'll probably go for cheap. However, if 10 people are bidding on it, it will likely go for a lot more. Stocks can appreciate for any reason, and their value is tied to a number of factors that don't always tie back to just how much money that company makes. Since stocks are sold on an open market through an exchange, their price is more of a reflection of buyer sentiment or how good or bad people think the company will do. Stocks for companies that lose millions of dollars each year can go up in price if the market thinks that they will be more and more successful very soon. The second way that you can make money by owning stocks is through something called dividends. Some stocks, but not all or even most, pay dividends. Dividends are payments directly from the company made to shareholders that come from the company's profits. Think of this as a way to entice people to buy a company's stock and hold on to it. Dividends are paid quarterly and the amounts vary by company, but it's a set amount for each company for each share that you own. Companies would want to pay you a dividend so you hold their stock and don't sell it. Supply and demand means that this will drive the price up over time. Companies want their stocks to go up so that the shares that they still own are more valuable, as well as so that any shares they decide to sell or offer in the future can be sold for more money, generating more investment money for them. We've covered what stocks are and how you make money with them, but what other technicalities are we missing? Companies sell shares or stocks in their business to raise money without taking out a loan that they have to pay back. After a company sells a share, it goes onto the open market. So after the initial offering from a company, you buy shares from other investors, not the company itself. All of these transactions are handled through stock exchanges on the open stock market. We have another video about that linked right here if you want to learn more about how the stock market works in detail. You, the investor, buy a stock through a stock broker or brokerage. You can use online platforms like Webull, and if you're just getting started, you can even do paper trades so you can trade real stocks without investing any money and see if you would have made an investment. You also get two free stocks at our affiliate link below after you make your first deposit. 
Some platforms do charge you a fee though when you buy or sell stocks and others are free. There are different types of stocks that give you different rights or perks for a company. Most investors buying and selling on the open market will own what is called common stock. Common stock gives you voting rights and can pay you dividends. That's about it though. There are other types of stocks like preferred stocks. The main difference is that preferred stocks have less volatility, so they're a more secure investment in most cases and they usually get higher dividends. However, preferred stock owners don't usually get voting rights in the company. There are other types of stocks, but they're a little beyond the scope of what any beginner or even experienced run-of-the-mill retail investor would need to know. Long story short, owning stocks just means you hope the company will do well so you can sell your stock for more than you bought it for and turn a profit. Stocks fluctuate all of the time, so when buying or selling any given stock, you'll want to weigh your investment strategy. Are you hoping to sell this in a month or are you going to hold the stock for years? Each strategy presents different levels of risk and returns. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about what stocks are and why they exist. Lastly, there are other forms of stock that you can buy on the market that don't represent just one company, but rather represent a bunch of companies. These are called exchange traded funds or ETFs. They're essentially a bunch of companies stocks lumped into one stock and you could buy something for example a technology ETF meaning that you invested in a bunch of technology companies without having to own each one of the stocks individually. This spreads out your risk and provides you more stable growth but it also gives you good exposure to the market as a whole. And of course the potential for explosive growth and returns is usually muted in ETFs as well. And that just about does it. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about what stocks are and why they exist. If you want to start trading for yourself for free, you can download and install Webull at the link in the description and when you sign up and make a deposit, you'll get two free stocks. Thanks for watching.